Okay, let's talk about piecewise function. So, a piecewise function is defined by multiple sub-functions, meaning more than one sub-function, where each sub-function is applied to a certain interval of the main function's domain. Let's have some examples wherein piecewise function will be applied. So we have here example number one. Mr. Cruz is charged 299 pesos monthly for a particular mobile plan which includes 100 free text messages. Messages in excess of 100 are charged 1 peso each. Represent the monthly cost text messaging using the function T of M where M is the number of messages sent in a month. So, we have two sub-functions here. One is T of M is equal to 299 if M is greater than 0 or less than or equal to 100. Meaning, from one message up to 100 messages sent in a month, you will be charged 299 pesos. So this will be your minimum cost. The second one, T of M is equal to 299 plus the quantity M minus 100 if M is greater than 100. Meaning, for every message sent in excess of 100, you will be charged 1 peso plus the minimum cost of 299 pesos. Say for example, your number of messages sent in a month is 105. So this will be the value of M. Okay. So the computation is 105 minus 100 is 5. Then 5 times 1 peso is 5 pesos plus 299. So the total cost is 304. So this will be your total monthly cost. Let's have the second problem. A jeepney ride costs 10 pesos for the first 4 kilometers and its additional integer kilometer adds 2 pesos to the fare. Use a piecewise function to represent the jeepney fare in terms of the distance or D in kilometers. So here we have also two sub-functions. The first one is f of d is equal to 10 if d or distance is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 4. So meaning, for the first 4 kilometers or from 1 kilometer up to 4 kilometer ride, you will pay 10 pesos which is also served as your minimum fare. The second one, f of d is equal to 10 plus 2 times the quantity d minus 4 if d or distance is greater than 4. Meaning, for every succeeding kilometer after the 4 kilometer ride, you will pay additional 2 pesos. So for example, you have ridden 7 kilometers okay so it will be computed 7 minus 4 is 3 then 3 times 2 is 6 plus 10 so the total is 16 pesos